Hey, hey, who's here? Hey, Carrie. You were just watching another live. I know because I saw you. <laughs> I love this stencil too. And today it's going to get dirty because we're going to use some grit paste on it. So there we go. I haven't used this stuff for a while, so I hope it's still, still good. Should be. Yep, it's fine. Oh, you're in bed. Hello, sister. You are so freaking sweet. Is this hot cocoa, I'm gonna assume? This is like for a big old mug of hot cocoa too. I know, right? Neato. Okay, so we're just gonna get started. Hey, Stacy. So um, what I decided to do today is to show you how easy it is. Um, oh, and peppermint. Oh, it's on like Donkey Kong now. <laughs> um, I decided to give the Color Dex Zigzag a little bit of love today. Um, and we're gonna make our Color Dex cards for the swap. So I wanted to show you guys that the swap can be super duper fun and really, really easy. So the theme this month is snark or snarky or whatever. So I used my color dex card, I used the zigzag and I cut it out of two different colors of paper. This is actually sweet sentiment coloring paper and this is just stamping up orange cardstock. I don't even know, some, some of you probably know the real name of this color, I don't, it's just orange to me. Okay, so that's what I used the zigzag for. Then I'm going to use this stamp set. This is called Hope It Doesn't Suck. Um, and this is super snarky. You can tell that this is an old one. I have the original one. Um, and it has dies, which I've never cut apart because <laughs> I always end up fussy cutting her. Um, and I'm going to use this. Sometimes I have to tell myself it's just not worth the jail time. I think that's perfect for a snarky card swap, don't you? I'm also going to use the nothing but net. Um, I know this was meant to look like fishing net because it came out in May for Mermaid. However, um, it could be all different kinds of things. Today, it's going to masquerade as chain link fence for the jail. Okay, so we're gonna get we're gonna get moving on all this. <coughs> Excuse me. So first things first, I'm gonna stamp my sentiments. And I have this piece of Sweet Sentiment coloring paper too. It's just a scrap that I cut off. And I am going to grab my sentiment here. And I have my Versamark and my Wow Super Fine Primary Ebony. Although I will say this is contaminated because there is some other black um, embossing powder that got poured in there on accident. Not really on accident. An accident on purpose. <laughs> I was cleaning my craft room and in a fit of rage, I just decided that I was gonna dump all of my embossing powders together because I was sick of having 75,000 embossing powders. Um, yes, for the snarky swap, I can't wait. I imagine great things from you for this Nerky Swap for sure. I could probably stamp them both on this one piece. Okay. So. I have my Rabbit Hole Designs embossing buddy, cottontail embossing tool, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Got to roll the sleeves up for this bad boy. <laughs>
Yeah, where's Holly? There she is. Heidi ho! It's Dex time, baby. Now, I'm one of those people that always likes to stamp this twice. It's not entirely necessary, but for me and mine, <laughs> I'm gonna stamp it twice. I'm gonna slide those magnets off. I'm gonna flip this over. I'm being very careful not to touch the paper. And I'm gonna try this again because I'm trying to get two of them out of one. So I'm hoping that I can do it. Put the lid on that before I do anything else. I almost forgot that there was um, embossing there. Look at that. Fun times, it worked. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside. And I'm gonna grab my embossing gun. So how did that happen? I'm gonna grab my embossing gun and heat it up. So give me just a second. Plug your ears. <laughs> hey, Nicole. Oh, you're going to a light show? Well, that sounds fun. All right. Beautifully embossed. I like it. Okay. So I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy min mini trimmer. I'm definitely needing to make Christmas dragon with your set. My oldest will love it. They are so into dragons. Yes. I did a video um, where I did the dragon as a Christmas dragon. So you can watch the video, it's on YouTube. It's there, binge watch, enjoy. This is my teeny tiny cute handy dandy trimmer. It makes me happy.
Can't believe you abandoned Capix. Crazy. But did you see that we have color blend stands for the Olos? We have color blend stands for the Olos, in case you didn't see. All right. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to start decorating. I'm making two of these at a time because, I mean, for obvious reasons, you have to make two for the swap. So I'm going to make two of these at a time. These magnets are so strong, it's crazy. And I'm going to start with inking them. And so I have spiced marmalade and I have dried marigold and I have ground espresso. Okay, so I like to start with the lightest color first. Um, yeah, we have purple, pink, teal, black, and white. Ink blending. Okay. Done with that one. Put this one here. It's not magnetic, but it has a um, pad on the bottom of it and it keeps it from slipping. So it is pretty stinking awesome. Just something we're testing out as an idea for next year. But notice I can hit it with my brush fairly hard and it doesn't go all over the place. So it prevents me from having to hold it. Oops. Oh man, now that I did it, it's going to be always did. which is okay, because these are mixed media, so they're gonna be a little bit, I want them to be a little bit gritty. I'm glad you popped on Nicole on Mixed Media Day and Lee here on Memory Dex Card Day and Holly. Holly loves doing the Dex card swaps. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to grab my water bottle and we're going to do a little bit of spritzing. Now, I need a napkin or a tissue or whatevs. So I'm going to let those interact for just a minute and I'm going to clean this up. And then I'm going to grab these and I'm going to go with my spiced marmalade. We're going to hit them with some color around the outsides. Around the outside, around the outside. I just had a craving for like a super designer coffee. I'm gonna go out and get a coffee. Who's with me? 
Okay. So now that those are done, I can clean that up. I like to clean in between everything so all of my stuff does not get contaminated. Okay, now I'm gonna dry these off. You really do love the Dex cards. <laughs> all right, so. Now that those are cleaned off, I have this Distress Mica Stain, and this is called Empty Tomb. And I thought it would be fun to spritz these with some funkiness. It looks black, but it's really like a gray color, so it will not dry that dark. So. Super cool. Again, we're going to clean off around this because now we're going to go into the grit paste. All right. So see how they start to dry much, much lighter colored. It's super cool. Okay, so this is the Distress Grit Paste, and I chose to do this because I didn't want these to be like super bright and, and funsies. I wanted them to be a little more gritty and, um, and funky. So I'm gonna grab my Nothing But Net stencil, and it's going to now double as chain link because it's all about context. So this is going to be, um, you have a whole shelf of sugar-free syrups? Well, that's stinking cool. So, I have my pixie spray right here. And I'm gonna shake it up. And spray the spray, okay? And I wonder, nope. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take the grit paste and you can see it's kind of looks like stone and I'm not gonna do like solid on the stencil. I'm just doing pieces. Okay, and that's why these come in such little containers because you really don't need very much of it. There's that, I'm gonna remove my magnets. I love peeling stencils, you guys. I cannot even explain to you, hey Elizabeth, um, how much I love peeling stencils. So, are you ready? Oh my gosh, look at that. Super cool, right? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so now because those have to dry a little bit, I'm going to hit them with my um, heat gun so that I can force the drying along since we're live. And as this stuff dries, it takes on kind of a sandy texture. It's not entirely um, smooth. 
you have to move your heat gun around a lot. <laughs> Thanks. You have to move your heat gun around a lot um, because this stuff will do some funky, like bubbling and stuff. Okay, so I know, right, Holly? I, I don't like getting dirty. She is correct. And you can see how much moisture is in that stuff. It definitely has that. Okay, so while those dry, I'm going to take the backs of my cards and I'm going to go back to that ground espresso. And I'm going to hit the edges. I don't like anything to look like it's super new, super like nice. <laughs> I like it all to look a little bit gritty, a little bit worn, um, just distressed. So I definitely will come in here and like I said, I don't really mind if things get wrinkled or whatever because the whole point of this project is kind of distressing it. I also used the zigzag because I thought, you know, we're going with jail, we're going with prison, so, you know. <laughs> you guys, these little stamp helper things, stamp pad holder things are pretty freaking bomb, if you ask me. Okay. So then I will write on the back of these before I glue them down um, because if I glue this to this, then it's going to be impossible to write on the back of it. So um, <laughs> my tattoos are colorful. My hands are not. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a pen and it says Sandy on it because she gave them to me. And for the color deck swap, I'm just going to write snarky. Swap. One of two. December 2023 and then my name okay and I'm gonna do that again This one is card two of two. December And my name. You guys got all quiet on me. Okay, so this is dry now. So what I'm gonna do here is grab my glue. And you don't have to double up your cards. I just do because it makes them a little more sturdy.
And since I have grit paste on this side, I'm gonna use this side. Okay, same for this one. That would go so wrong for you. <laughs> I always use a ruler. Okay, so then I have my sentiments here. And I mean, y'all know me, I don't feel like that's enough on the card. So we're gonna put some dots and we're gonna add some texture. So I happen to have this super duper cool orange burlap. And I thought it would be fun to add some texture to these with the orange burlap. So I'm just going to cut a couple of pieces off. I like to pull a piece somewhere out of the middle-ish, kind of randomly so they don't look like they're perfect. So, this will go like that. Got to get it perfect, y'all. Okay, so there's that. And then I am going to get my sweet pops out. And then there's one other thing that I really want to get. But I have to find it. I think I want to use the chain. Oh, here we go. I mean, you got to have all the random stuff, right? Okay. I'm going to add forks. I know I have a morbid sense of humor, but I mean, come on. I just feel like the chain is appropriate for this. Not really sure why I feel like it's appropriate for this, but I really do. So that's going to happen. I'm going to grab my little snips here and I'm going to start. I know there's a big ring. Yep, here it is. We're going to add some chain, so maybe like this much. I can get my there we go I guess I should have measured that huh and guys your cards do not have to be this involved I just you know I'm live I'm here I'm crafting I like doing weird stuff so this is me doing weird stuff and you guys get to be the bystander. 
some things could be worth the jail time. You are definitely correct on that. Okay, so since I have some hardware here, I'm going to turn on my um, glue gun. And we're gonna we're gonna set these up. All right. Um, I also said I was gonna grab some dots, so let me grab. Some dots. Let's see if we can find some orange ones. Oh, look at that. I have orange dots. Isn't this fun, guys? I think it's fun. I'll watch the replay later. Okay. I would say have fun at work, but probably not the proper sentiment here. Okay. So. Start with this. Just put a dollop of glue here for that. I love that Holly knows me well enough to be like, for somebody who doesn't like getting dirty, <laughs> here you are, yet again, getting dirty. Exactly, Holly. Um, there is no right or wrong with the dex cards. You just get to do whatever it is you feel like doing. As long as it um, is reaches the theme. And the theme is snarky. So, Nicole, I mean, come on now. If it's snarky, you can do this. Okay. Okay. So I have those. I don't want to make this go underneath now. Probably going to end up putting some hot glue on it right there. And I'm probably going to hot glue that right there. This makes me think of them like digging out, trying to get out prison break. Or of them trying to stab somebody <laughs> with a fork. Put a fork in me. I'm done. I just watched a world's most evil killers where the dude stabbed somebody with a fork 40 some odd times. I mean, that's a lot of fork stabbing, you know? This is so fun. Right? File that fork down into a shank. You can do it.
And again, your cards do not have to be this involved. I'm just, you know, doing my thing here. But I do want you to realize that there is absolutely no coloring involved on this either. I need another glue stick. All right, so now we're gonna glue this fork down. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Can you tell I'm totally tickled with this project? There we go. I couldn't get my glue gun to go in there. Awesome. Well, stick a shank in me, I'm done. Right? Okay. So, now that I have that, Holly's probably laughing at me for cleaning up my desk in between 10,000 times. All right. <laughs> what do you guys think? Kind of fun, huh? So there's our snarky memory decks cards. And that was like really super simple and so much fun. And I implore you guys to join in. Join in the swap and have fun creating these crazy little cards. Um, the theme this month is snarky. So, I mean, that could literally be anything. And look at how easy they are to make. I, I really enjoy doing these. I think they're so much fun. And I hope that you will join me in the swap. We do them every other month. Um, on the even months and right Nicole so join in all you got to do is send two um, and four dollars for shipping so I can return them back to you and a um, a self-addressed envelope because girl you know um, or at least your your address very clearly written on your envelope so that I can send them back to you or, you know, send your cards, your swaps back to you. But when you do these, I send them. Um, yeah, Holly's an overachiever. She likes to do them for um, everybody that joins in the swap. So um, she likes to do a lot of them. But today we use the Nothing But Net stencil. We used the Hope It Doesn't Suck stamp set. And we use the Color Dex Zigzag card. So I hope you really enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun. And I will see you guys all next weekend. Toodles! <laughs>